Falling in love? Cringe. You wish that was you, huh? <laughs> What led you to become a teacher? What led me to become a teacher? Well, I love my subject matter and I had worked in my subject matter like performing arts for years, forever. And um, then when we had our family and we moved back to Georgia, um, it just seemed a more logical, sensible schedule. What's your favorite part about teaching? My favorite part about teaching, I love getting to share things that I um, love with kids and seeing kids that get it, and um, especially in middle school. What's your favorite show that you've done? I guess my favorite show, I love black box shows. I thought Adam's Family looked so good. Matilda is probably just my favorite. Like, I love the script and, and the music and the story, and, and I loved that really out there set. But then Hairspray was the first one I did over there. And we painted a checkerboard floor, and it, it just kind of, I had never done anything in the black box, and I, I fell in love with how fun that is. So, I don't know, there's three for you. What would you expect to see if we walked in on a normal school day? On a normal day? I don't know that we have normal days. <laughs> I think our normal days are really abnormal. Today is a somewhat normal day. Like, um, I'm at lunch now, but, you know, we did a little activity for lunch, and we're getting out folders and singing after lunch. That's what I would call normal, but so many times it's not normal. What's something unexpected that's happened during class? Oh my goodness, I feel like I have so many crazy stories, but something unexpected that happened in class. We did have a kid faint one time when we were recording something. That was unexpected. I should, I should expect it. Kids faint at chorus concerts. So. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot. I guarantee you something unexpected will happen in the next few minutes when I get out there, so. asking some different wait I just feel like I started this wrong all right hello I am Mary Grace and today we're gonna be asking some questions to the different classes that we choose to go into they spelled baby wrong <laughs> it's not how you spell baby <laughs> okay let's go I'm excited you should be excited if you're not excited what's wrong with you you should be excited also my shoes make me feel like a teacher and I sound like a teacher it's the only thing that would go with bell bottoms, so, sorry. Hey, 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 what's your favorite college football team? Florida Gators. Yes. Florida Gators. Georgia all the way, all right, go away. What's your favorite food? 
I don't know how to speak English. Okay, never mind. Kara, Kara, your favorite music artist? Um, let's see. I like the baby. Mm okay. <laughs> your favorite food? Chicken wings. <laughs> um, spaghetti. Okay, I feel that. My social anxiety through the roof. Miss Holland, Miss Holland, what's your favorite class? Calculus. No, like to teach? Yes. I'm in pre-calculus and I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt. What's your favorite rap artist? I don't have one. <laughs> All right. What's a movie that Sandra Bullock has been in? I don't know who that is. Today's youth. What's your favorite place to eat? Chick-fil-A. Wait, what are you eating? Chick-fil-A. Oh my God. Copeland. Copeland. What's your favorite instrument in the band? Uh, drums. Naturally. What's your favorite college football team? Wait, what? Uh... You're taking too long. What's your favorite music artist? Um, uh, Lil Baby. Again, no. Jordan. Yes. Favorite softball team? Um, me too. What's your favorite music artist? I don't know. I don't, I don't have one. She, she's lying. Aesthetic. Look at this. This looks like a, like an Instagram post. Cute. Also, that doesn't make any sense. Boys, boys, boys. Favorite video game? Go. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I guess. All right, I didn't understand any of that. Oh, hey, hey, Peyton. Favorite video game? Go. Mario. Which one? There's like a lot. Then Minecraft. Great. My arm's hurting. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm Mr. Lackman, um, and right now I'm in my Pottery 3 and 4 class on Gold Day 2nd Block. Um, and right now we are kind of working on, uh, students are creating their own decanters uh, and with four set matching cups. And um, so it's basically like they're making really fancy pitchers with fancy cups to match. Uh, and so they're kind of using whatever um, construction methods that they find useful for their design. So some may be using coil building, some may be using slab, um, and then they can also kind of just figure out what they need as they go. These are the advanced class, so they kind of already know how to go about making stuff. So it's their job to figure it out and then design what they want. Um, decanters and uh, pitchers are pretty common. Um, it's kind of a common thing that you see made in ceramics. Um, so it's just kind of a study in that utilitarian form uh, and then also kind of bringing in design aspects with uh, matching the cups to the design of the, the pitcher itself. So. so right now we're making ewers which are basically like pitchers and they hold all different kind of liquids and so mine is a duck. It's not finished yet but it's a duck and then we're also making little cups to go with it. So mom will be like little chickies, kind of match like a little set. So yeah, that's what we're doing.
What is your favorite class that you have this year? Ben. What is your favorite class that you have this year? I would say video production. What's your favorite class? Uh, my favorite class is team sports. What is your favorite class that you have this year? Uh, graphic design. What is your favorite class that you have this year? Uh, science. All right, what's your favorite class that you have this year? Probably AP Environmental. Like I, it's such a small class, and like I love going to the river and like studying that. And I think it's going to be really great preparation for college. What's your favorite class that you have? Mm, literature with Miss Deguire. What is your favorite class that you have? Science. What's your favorite class that you have this year? Science. Why? The teacher. He's kind of cool. What is your favorite class that you have this year? Pottery. What's your favorite class that you have this year? My mom's class. What is your favorite class that you have this year? Video production. What's your favorite class that you have this year? My favorite class is dual bio. What is your favorite class that you have this year? Oh, um, my boss say water sports because you get to get on there, have a good old time, get in the water, you know, and train for swim. Hello there. So for this Pictionary segment, I'm going to draw something from this list I hear that is surprisingly unfolded. Okay. And my partner in the back in the camera will guess what I'm trying to draw. Like, I'm just gonna... It looks like a giant waffle or something. Do you know what this looks like? Is it Big Ben? Yes, it is. A few moments later. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Do you know what this looks like? Is it a Heinz 57? Yes. Okay. It has just, it has stuff in it. 12 seconds later. <laughs> I'm honestly trying. No, don't stop recording. Don't stop recording. There, uh, Pepsi promotion. Do you know what this looks like? Well, there's a football, there's a Pepsi, and I think a bowl of rice? You're getting close, surprisingly enough. Okay, the final hint is Super Bowl, okay? You see? Pepsi commercial, football, oh, halftime show, absolutely random Dorito. what's going on in video production right now. So, there's four levels in this class. What are each level working on right now? All right, so it's January, and my level one audio, video, technology, and film classes are working on Super Bowl commercials. We're looking at marketing, demographics, cost analysis, um, all the things that go into choosing a uh, commercial is going to go into a $5.6 million ad space. You guys did this as level ones. So we're doing one of my favorite lessons of the year, the Super Bowl commercial remake. So they'll be picking a favorite commercial and trying to remake um, one of the classic Super Bowl commercials from the 70s up until last year, 2020. That's a level one. And then level two and level three are working on, well, Calhoun Plus segments. And then level four is also working on Calhoun Plus, but they're also doing some Skills USA. Competitions. Uh, most of my level fours are doing upper level competition things for skills and also adding some upper level videos to our Calum Plus productions. What are your goals for each student to progress on through the year and by the end of the year? Well, uh, so my goal is for our level one students to get a general understanding of um, audio, video, technology, film, how it all fits together, be able to do things like green screening and understand how the studio works together and then be able to produce their own uh, video segments with the understanding of what shot composition is. Then level two, three, and four, my goal for each of them is really just continue to progress in the skills that they've learned in video production. We learn some more advanced things, more advanced techniques, 
but the goal is for them to get actually better at producing videos, and that grows year to year to year. Obviously, right here in the studio, we do our morning announcements, and then we produce the Calvin Plus segment. So, want to see growth as far as what they produce and the specific pieces of that as we move through the year. Okay, if you're going to pursue this pathway, what can you do after high school? Like, what can? Oh, after high, there's a ton of things. And one of the things that we talk about on day one of video production, look, you don't have to go into movies or television or be in front of a camera, behind a camera, work for a company. Um, all of those are possibilities, but you can just take this as a skill to use as, as a parent one day, to use as an employee at a company one day where you're just um, required to do some things with a video camera and know how to do it well. Just like in the year 2020, everybody was forced to get better at using a video camera and being able to talk in front of a camera and audio, sound, lighting, everybody had to have a better understanding of that. So being able to take those basics and then, you know, maybe you go on um, to film school. Maybe you go on to a career in television or the movies. That's great. If you don't, that's okay because you take some life skills with you in video production you can definitely use outside of this lab, not to mention um, creativity, understanding of things like lighting and sound, and those things apply in a lot of areas in life, not just here in the studio. We have had an awesome blood drive. Thanks to all the wonderful students and teachers and faculty members and community people here in Calhoun. Um, we had almost every slot filled and it, this drive is going to benefit lots and lots of people. So besides the pandemic, you still have things going on, people needing uh, surgeries that need blood, people who have been in car accidents or been victims of trauma that need blood. And so they um, are really dependent upon the school blood drives to keep that going. Me and Kyle have been working the blood drive for about three years now. Um, we have a very good set plan for what we do. We set our chairs up socially distanced this year due to COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> and Kyle is the majority of our prepper work. She makes sure all of our kids are signed up and registered. And whenever they're off the bus, me and her both, we deal with getting caretakers for all of the kids to make sure they make it back safely. Yeah, got to make sure all the kids actually stay healthy, eat their food, and make sure they get a drink in them before they go back to class. And this year we actually both got to donate and volunteer, so that was good. It's a very good experience for both of us. Hi, my name is Amanda Trammell. I'm the account manager for the Northwest Georgia area for Blood Assurance. And we absolutely love coming to Calhoun High School. This is one of the best and most productive schools that I actually have out of 18 um, in the Northwest Georgia area. We always have a great turnout here. You guys have been always so supportive. And every donation that you make saves three lives at one time. So for one little stick, you get to save the three people. I think that's pretty amazing and you guys keep it up. So Zakins, tell me what's happening today in Culinary Arts 1 here in January. Um, well, we are making some mashed potatoes. We have practiced our knife skills. They have diced potatoes. They have peeled some vegetables and now they are going to be boiling them, um, seasoning them, and mashing them as a yummy side dish. So there's a lot of skills involved in this. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? 
Yeah, good. Could, could you serve that at home? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> With the Super Bowl being three days a week, we decided to ask a few random people a few questions about the Super Bowl. Do you follow the NFL usually? Uh, to some degree, yeah. What is your favorite NFL team? Uh, my favorite team is probably the Falcons. That's tough to say right now, this year. Uh, do you follow the NFL? Yeah. What is your favorite NFL team? Uh, I don't really have one. You don't really have one? No, not really. Do you follow the NFL? Yes. And if so, what is your favorite NFL team? Um, even though they suck, the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> Do you follow the NFL? Yes, sir. And if so, what is your favorite team? Chicago Bears. Do you follow the NFL? Uh, not as much as I used to, but I mean, I'm just going to keep it simple and uh, just... No, not really. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl um, next week? I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl next week. Um, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Um, the Chiefs. And why so? Because Patrick Mahomes is a goat. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Bucks. And uh, why do you think that? Because Tom Brady is just different. <laughs> and who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl this year? Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And why so? Tom Brady has more experience in the Super Bowl. Yeah, and he is the GOAT. Yeah, he's in the page. And who do you think is going to win this year's Super Bowl? Uh, Chiefs. I'm here with Ashley Brzezowski, Christopher Lewis, Peyton Law, Walt McKenzie. What do you feel like y'all improved the most on this year? Um, just the team chemistry. Like everyone gets along a lot better. People understand each other a lot more. So like on and off the court, like there's just a lot better dynamic on the okay. team. This year we, you know, most of us have played together since like right in middle school. So we had a good connection this year. Our our chemistry as a team has really like went better from last year. Like we've you know, we've always been playing together from middle school and like we just we have that connection. I feel like we play a lot better together this year. It's not just a one or two man show, it's everybody and we've gotten a lot bigger. I think we've won almost every game with a rebounding margin, so that's huge for us. What's the best thing about being on the team? Just all the different personalities, like getting to see everyone like come out of their shell and interact, like especially in the locker room that's really funny because you have a lot of big personalities and a lot of quiet ones, so when the quiet ones go after the big ones, it just turns out really funny. Like, not even just on the court, just like being in the locker room with all the guys, like we saw this cut up, but whenever we get on the court, like we get serious, but in that locker room, it's just... It's a fun time being there with all the guys. Uh, I'd say the camaraderie. Just it's a family. That's what we always say. It's a family. But we really, I feel like we have taken that to the core this year. Like everybody loves each other. We got a water gun war going on right now, so that's a that's a good time. That's fun. Yeah. As a team, what are y'all's goals? Well, obviously we want to like try to win a region, go far in the playoffs, but especially like just to try. A big thing is not to survive at practice because we have like a lot of really hard practices. So it's like push yourself every day to get better and to be like encouraging to each other. First, I think like is to you know be as best as we can in the region, and then after that is just game by game. Uh, first, always region championship. I mean that's a must. Uh, then right there, state. I mean, who's who's team goals isn't that? Thanks, thanks, thanks. So what are your personal goals? Um, just like same with the encouraging thing, like I want to try to be as encouraging as I can, like on and off the court, try to help especially the younger people, because it is a lot to go from middle school to like our kind of practice. My personal goal is to just do the best I can to help the team. Okay. Uh, I want to be the best I can be with the team and like just be a leader. Goals for yourself? Uh, just help the team any way I can, you know. Other than that, just win. That's what's right. How has Corona affected the basketball season? It's really weird that we don't have jump ball. Because like you get to play the whole game up against each other, but apparently jump ball, you can't do it. So that's weird. You just start the game off with the away team that gets ball. The game, not much. I mean, still out there, but 
there's no more jump balls or way too just a ball first. You just got to be a little more careful about who we're around. Uh, I mean, we've had we've got some players get quarantined and everything, and like everything, games getting canceled and everything. I mean, it's not that fun, but basketball, I mean, games are the same. Uh, not. It has more lately, but at first it really wasn't anything other than just the tip-offs, but we've had some players quarantined, uh, games canceled, but nothing too major. I appreciate you for coming along. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you all for watching. Hello, and welcome back to whatever this show is. I might actually call it that, whatever this show is. We like walk up to random people in the hallway and then ask some questions. This time it's Valentine's Day edition, so I'm very excited. Oh, I'm Mary Grace, by the way, but you probably already knew that because I usually am known by the girl that looks sad or angry, but I promise I'm not. It's just my default face. I'm actually a pretty okay person. So I don't know if you're aware, but Valentine's Day is approaching. So what do you think of Valentine's Day? Um, well, for the past like few years, I've been getting sick every Valentine's Day. So I just hope I don't get sick again. I hope you don't either. Your earrings are cute, by the way. Aww. Get them at Fox Topic. What major holiday is coming up? Valentine's Day. What are you going to do? Get a chicken biscuit that's heart shaped. And Chick-fil-A. Your last interview was about Chick-fil-A. It was about Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is awesome. <laughs> yeah, never mind, Trevor. Chick-fil-A is, is awesome. <laughs> but Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> well, actually, winter break's coming up, but... You want to go to the vending machine with me? No. To buy some Chick-fil-A? This is what happens during these interviews. Cecilia. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Uh, stay home and probably eat food or something. Dude, same. Hashtag forever alone. Boys, boys, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Uh -oh. <laughs> we can't put that in. Marley, what do you think of Valentine's Day? I mean, it's nice if you have a boyfriend, but I don't, so. Oh, okay. Hey, Marie, what's Valentine's Day about? I don't know. For me, I guess it's about being single and lamenting. I'm just kidding. I feel that every day. Gentlemen, what do you think about Valentine's Day? I think it's spectacular. You know, you got good M&Ms that come out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> They're bueno. Darian, what major holiday is coming up right now? Um, as oh you, hold on. <laughs> what major holiday is coming up? My birthday. We're not going to talk about the 14th. That don't make any sense. You're right. Valentine's Day non-existent. It's just Jerrion's birthday. So, how do y'all feel about Valentine's Day? <laughs> Aslan, what do you think about Valentine's Day? Oh, it's a little bit overrated. There you go. I'm just like awkwardly waiting here. Andrea, what do you think about Valentine's Day? I'm single, so it's going to be pretty depressing. I mean, isn't every day depressing? Jake, what major holiday is coming up? Valentine's Day. What? President's Day. I don't know. Isn't it Valentine's Day with an M? Daria, what major holiday is coming up? BLM month. I mean, yeah. What major holiday is coming up? Groundhog Day. Hey! Mardi Gras. No. <laughs> well, then what are you talking about? Chandelier. See here, the French people get together and they just make crepes, right? And it's on Groundhog Day. Hey! You see, it's just like a nice time to spend, you know, eating crepes and just like praising Jesus, but in a Catholic way. Nice. Well, what do you think, Saria? I I agree with whatever Julio just said. <laughs> okay, that yeah, that's fine. Cushion, Jackie, what do y'all think? It Groundhog is a day. day. What do y'all think about Valentine's Day? I'm not spending it. Yeah. There you go. I'm not either. Tell us what you think about Valentine's Day. Really? It's the holiday when all the chocolate goes on sale. Yes. That's it. When you're married, it doesn't count. It doesn't count when you're married? No, because you live with them. There you go. So don't get married. You're good. I think we learned a lot about Valentine's Day and 
whatever Julio said and President's Day and Groundhog Day, which I forgot about. What is Groundhog Day? Oh, really? I think that's the end of the video. If you liked it, good job, you have taste.